separate incident. A Land Lakes man says it was jump off the Howard Franklin Bridge or die last night. Yeah, tonight we're hearing his story of survival for the very first time. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is live at the bridge with why he took a leap of faith into that water. Laura Jamison, he says he had the only option to jump off of the top of the Howard Franklin Bridge. This is where it all happened on this stretch. This is similar to the area where he jumped. That's about 15 feet up. He said he was lucky that this didn't happen in the middle span because that area is more than 40 feet above the water. When Ismael Hernandez hit the dark, cold, deep water chest first, he struggled to the surface, gasping for a breath of air. Days from the impact, Hernandez says he fought the current to stay afloat for nearly 30 minutes. Hernandez worried about sharks after he says big fish started circling him in the water. It was around 10 p.m. Tuesday night that Hernandez says he had no choice but to jump. He says it happened in an instant. Another car hit his stranded work truck in the emergency lane. When all of a sudden he heard the crash and saw the car coming towards him, he jumped over the wall to avoid getting crushed, scraping his forearm on the way down. And jump, and jump, and, and swim, swim in the, in, the, in the cold water. It's, it's not easy. It's, it's, very, it's very dangerous. In broken English, Hernandez told us he just moved to Florida from Cuba a few months ago. Yesterday was his first day working for QRC contractors out of Lutz. His co-worker driving the truck was cited for having an unsecured trailer that came off while they were driving and forced them to pull over. Hernandez says it's the first day on the job he'll never forget and a Christmas that now means more than ever. Feliz Navidad, no? I am happy to be, to be alive. So two of Hernandez's co-workers were also hit by that vehicle. They were taken to Tampa General Hospital. They were treated for minor injuries. They've been released. As for the driver that hit them, he was also treated for minor injuries. At this point, that driver has not been cited. We're live here in Tampa tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.